Sure wish I had a backhoe. Problem with the backhoe is you don't have air on a backhoe. Okay, that is a one-arm D9G. It now qualifies for handicap status. glasses somehow oil on me everything's blurry it's blurry i can't see there is there's a lot of speculation that another document dump is coming out of wow this rod needs re-chromed it is beat to tar holy moly that would be ideally the time that's terrible for all Okay, here we go. Hang on to your butts. Ah. Get out Bertha here. If I can get her switched. Come on, Bertha. There we go.
Sure wish I had a backhoe. Make this so much easier. Well, that's wore out. Look at that. Whee! Oil out, dirt in. Every time. Oh, yummy. It left the, left the wiper seal on there. Cool. I'll not dig that out. Yeah, but dabba do. This is a old style head. Um, has this separate piece here because these originally had packing. They don't make packing anymore, so I'll show you what's in there. And it don't want to come apart. Must be glued. Camera battery died, so I wanted to show you these. This is what replaces the packing. This is called a U cup seal. And right here it had a lump. It's totally wore off. And the reason it's wore off is because once they start to leak, oil out, dirt in, so it ground it up. So here's the new ones. This is just a spacer, and the seal goes in with the lip face and the piston. Then your spacer goes on. And then the top cover, I've got the U-cup seal in, and you have to glue them in with bearing mount. And so it's outside in the sunshine. That'll make that bearing mount set up faster. And then it has that little lip on it that goes down and kind of, this this will move back and forth a little, but not much. And then uh, my wear ring. This is the wear ring that goes inside the head. And as you can see inside here, it's wore out. It's pretty chewed up. And that could be from the dirt. I think what's probably taking the seals out is the chrome rod has a lot of dings in it down towards the end of its stroke. And so those will fill up with dirt and go inside and deposit their dirt and then chew things up. So I probably need to get the rod re-chromed or maybe just buy a new dozer. New use. Okay, we got the new wire sleeve. Fold it up, put it inside here, run it in here. There we go. She's in. You got a new wear surface. And Here's the other side. I've got the seal in, the U cup seal, and then this is the backup ring. And I will, after I get everything glued down here, I like to use ether, ether or alcohol, pretty good cleaning. I'm going to put some anaerobic sealant on this because this originally just had shims under it. And I want this to seal up pretty tight here. So I'm not going to put any grease or oil on those seals yet. See this black stuff still coming off. It's May. I went down and put this on the lathe. And uh, shined this up and cleaned up the bore in here. Hopefully this will seal better. This was a good replacement for the packing. Packing sucked. I don't know why they ever used that stuff. And they used it way into the late 60s, early 70s. Everybody else had gone away from it. Um, uh, there's, it's like the tilt cylinder on the dozer, okay? The tilt cylinder does not use packing. So only thing I can think is they just kept using it till they 
had uh, consumed all of these hard parts that had already been cast until they were gone. It's the only explanation I can understand out of it. And this goes on here. And then you can see inside here, this is the how much that still moves. And the instructions tell you that it has to have, it can't be tight or it won't work. So I guess we'll just live yeah, with that. Yeah, got that bolted on and torqued down. This is what I use. It's a Loctite high flex form and place gasket. I wanted to show you this uh, seal. You can see that hole right there. They've drilled a hole in it. That's called a vented uh, wiper seal and I think they've done it because these are not meant to hold any kind of pressure even though they're glued in with bearing mount it'll push them out and if you notice when I took it off the wiper came out and there was a lot of dirt behind the seal where it had pushed out a little ways and I think what happens is uh, you get dirt goes in here and plugs that up and then the pressure is leaking past this inner seal this u-cup seal builds up here and starts to push the wiper okay, seal out put this on i've oiled this up good in the seals sometimes i'll use grease but i got a really good chamfer on this one i don't think i'll need it I remember this cylinder now. Um, the machinist cut the bore on the tight side so it really is stiff on the wire ring. I probably should have fixed that when I had it on the lathe, but I totally forgot. It goes on there, this here, and we're going to wash the threads off good with ether because I'm going to put Loctite on it. I'll go get some Loctite. I'm just going to use a, a medium strength blue. And I'm going to put just a drop or two of oil on the face of the nut so when she screws down, it's got something to spin. All right, here we go, ready for Bertha.